guys so tonight we are featuring our lake tanganyika tank and it's just after a water change so these guys are hungry but this is where we can have a look at the beautiful coloration you can see the blue heads and yellow tails very clear and here we have some lemons very vibrant yellow and the bucharis are safeguarding the lower driftwood pieces so initially we had less than 10 bulchardis and the main reason for this video is to update their progress so these bulchardis have been multiplying if you look closely, you can see we have babies, some fry just about one inch, all within the driftwood on this side. And the reason they're doing so well is that these parents are very protective. They do not eat them and they are very defensive with the other fishes and they protect the fry because of that we have lost most of the julies and you can see one at the back there it's the black with the yellow stripe just over the lemon right um Apparently we had some breeding with the Julies, but the babies did not really survive too well. If you look at the background, you can see one of the babies. He's just about an inch and a half. Right, so... The conditions in this tank are perfect for breeding. It's just that the bichardis, if you look closely, you will see some very small babies. It's as though the water has dust in it. If you look at the back there over the driftwood, you'll see the smaller ones. They are all under, you can look through and see them there. As well as the bigger sizes. So it's really a beautiful sight. And they did this all on their own with regular maintenance. But the challenge now is that they will be attacking anyone that comes close to this area. So everything 
under and around the driftwood belongs to the Blachadis. So they will be busy for a while because there are lots of them. And we will see how they're going if we have to make any changes or moves with respect to the other fishes in the tank. But as always, we try to keep you updated. And generally, they stay at the bottom and the sips are at the top and the middle of the tank, so. It's working out well, but with these numbers in mind, we'll have to see how it goes when they grow out. Jewels are forced onto the sides and the back of the aquarium because of this development. You look, you can see them all at the back on the floor. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. A brief updates and as always we we'll keep you posted with these little guys for sure so because we have water change out here in the garage today we'll also scoot across to feature the Beautiful peacock tank. It's just a view. And of course, after a water change, these guys have a furious appetite. So they are patiently waiting for food. will follow your fingers and this is when everyone is to the front and we can appreciate the beauty because these guys are so dominant the aquarium is never totally stable and steady sometimes one fish would be most dominant and then that will change right now the yellow obi is the orange yellow obi is ruling everything here and because of that our beautiful red guy is to the back and in the deco now this, this behavior affects them because sometimes they lose their appetites they don't come to compete for food and it affects them overall 
with how well they do in the tank. It's very competitive. So you can see the orange ruby, he's on that side and everyone else is on this side. And soon enough, someone else will be dominant. So because of this, we have had a great loss because we lost the black the black sulfur head and he was comfortable he was doing well and because of the competition and stuff he stopped eating he lost some weight and he just did not get back in gear to make it with these guys the thing about it is that when they're so dominant the coloration is flawless really really gorgeous So, it's some of the challenges that are faced very often and it's only so much that can be done. We'll see how it goes with the other guys. It's also very difficult to introduce a new fish into this tank because everyone is already settled. So, even if we do get another black obi, I mean black sulfur head, it will be a challenge for him to come in here. So it's all have to, it, it all has to be carefully taught out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the updates on these two tanks. Take care. Have a good one. And be safe. Bye guys.